Welcome back to another quick hit review video. In today's video, there are a few things I want to run over, as well as going over some trades I spoke about in the last quick hit review video. Uh, we're going to start off here on the Euro Aussie, and I'm just going to zoom out. This was a trade setup I spoke about uh, yesterday when I did the quick hit review video, and it was this channel, this channel where we double topped up here and we have a high probability of coming lower. And I talked about this area here being the outside return and all she need is a lower, lower, lower close. Well, we got that um, right here. And as you can see, put in a new low. Now, we have now put in a Gartley pattern, which you can use as the entry. The problem I have is that this Gartley pattern unfortunately now has retested the lows just here. We've just tapped the lows, which means I cannot play for trend continuation because of that reason, which is a real damn shame because this would have offered a beautiful entry uh, and a chance to get short. Now, if your rules dictate that because we're in trend and we're in this um, wedging or this coiling pattern, and we still do have a high probability of coming lower that this retest here doesn't matter, then go ahead and take this Gartley pattern because it is a, going to give you a beautiful reward to risk. Something like this to something like that. Or if you want to be a little bit more conservative, um, drop down a time frame. I'm going to drop down to the 60 here um, and look for a computer wants to update. Come on, highlight the wicks of the X leg and wait for a confirmed rotation pattern. That means that your risk is dramatically reduced to something like this and your reward is, well, I'm going to have to zoom out to, uh, to fit the reward in. Um, this is something that I would take because even though with double bottom there is still a high probability of going lower, and look at that for your reward to risk if we can get a rotation pattern up there. But it's all dependent on your rules, what you've tested. Um, as I said, I can't take it now because we double bottomed. But if we do get a confirmed rotation pattern up here with a reward to risk of about 8 or 91, I'm going to go ahead and take that. So moving on, what else did we have? Uh, the Euro Yen. The Euro Yen seems to be playing around with me. Uh, only 11 pips up now from being 40 up before, but that still is a 4 to 1 reward to risk. 18 pips for 78. I'm still going to hold that trade. No reason to exit. Um, dollar CAD, nothing there. Nothing on the pound dollar. Euro dollar, keep an eye out. We have a um, 15 stroke 60 minute bat pattern that's setting up there. Could very easily complete today. Pound Aussie. Pound Aussie, don't you just love it when you're right? And I spoke about this rotation pattern. Let me bring it over. This rotation pattern just here, this head and shoulders. And as you can see, targets were a retest up here. If you recall from the last quick hit review video, boom, it won. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I did say, though, that... Um, I was really looking at this being a bat pattern and it wasn't quite valid for me so I couldn't take it. Otherwise I would have taken the head and shoulders and um, used it to go for those uh, those targets at the 382 and as you can see uh, we're very very close to those targets being hit. Just a shame it didn't quite meet the rules that one but nevertheless brilliant to see that our analysis was correct and we're getting to see the move in the right direction. Uh, Aussie Dollar Cad spoke about this being a flag pattern. Uh, we have now broken out of the channel the correct way and we have technically double topped here. Um, I am just not 100% happy about this being a flag. One sign for me is we've just about violated the structure level here to the upside. Um, and so I'm not very happy about taking that trade. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I want those very, very high probability trades. And that one for me is not high probability enough. Uh, there really isn't too much on the radar. But the dollar yen, I spoke about this as well. This beautiful structure level. Um, and what we're doing right now is we're pulling back 
into that structure level guys so remember first chance second chance third chance entry um, all that uh, education is on the website freeforexeducation.co.uk it shows you how to enter in those trades uh, what to look for with the rsi rotation patterns fib confluence targets stops uh, tr um, uh, what else is on there um, also live trade examples are on there as well so if we come into this area i'm going to be looking for a long opportunity today um, very very quick video of this um, just pretty much recapping uh, i spoke about this as well or at least i posted this within the chat forum i can't remember it was on the quick hit review video we had a gartley pattern um, quite a deep gartley pattern and as you can see we just fell short of the entry at the 127 but look i did say we had an internal a b equals c d pattern which worked out beautifully and from there we came down and hit those targets absolutely lovely um, best trading is always for me the first six months of the year and uh, things are really panning out that way at the moment um, did take a loss on this Ugh, 16 pip a shame uh, it turned out to be a head and shoulders in the end instead of trying to continue I've updated that within the spreadsheet on the website so you can see that in there uh, euro swissy was something i was looking at it wasn't quite valid i was looking at this being a low and tight flag unfortunately it wasn't valid because we did just here violate to the downside which was a damn damn shame and as you can see um, we have now broken to the downside seeing the fallback uh, but guys i have nothing else on the radar so a couple of things to watch out for euro was if it's valid for you look at that as the gartley entry for that lovely trend continuation um, fingers crossed for me for this four to one reward to risk on the euro yen um, if you're not working the percentage of your account and you're doing a set position size 78 pips is what i'm looking at dollar cad nothing uh, nothing euro dollar again reminder watch out for that gartley um, pound aussie played out um, if it's valid for you you have an entry right now on the aussie dollar cad if this is a valid flag for you the way i work these is now that we've had the confirmation and physically broken out of the channel stops only need to go 180r above the highs i've tested this it's a very high probability it's just whether or not this is a valid flag pattern for you and of course you don't have to play for the extension you can just play for a retest of the lows just down there so I, i'm going to watch that one and see how that plays out apart from that guys very quick video enjoy your day of trading i will be within the chat system today but um, i do have an awful lot to do today with it being pretty much my first day back from my holidays but i hope to see you within the chat